horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and one of the great settings in all of college football. Boy, the scarlet and gray already rocking this house. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the back, the Western Michigan Broncos taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Buckeyes will boot it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Broncos offense will take the first swing of the game. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Quarterback on the keeper. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Man, these read options are so hard to diagnose, just like right there. He picks up a little chunk of yards, not a big chunk, but it's so easy when you run the read options. Why is that? Why is it easy? Because if you want to play fast to the football, well, then fine. I'm going to pull the ball right now and to use your aggressiveness against you. But if you want to sit back, then fine. I'm going to give the ball right now and, and get a little chunk of yards. And I think if you're on defense here, you've got to be alert, right? Are they going for it here on fourth down? Does your defense have to be on the field ready for that? Might they line up in a, a punt formation and try to fake it potentially? You could see that. You know, there are a lot of coaches early in games that are willing to take big risks. So bells and whistles have got to be going off if you're on defense right now. Just needs a crack to get a return. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. The Buckeyes offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. The offense sets up shop at the 46 on first down. They'll give it to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wide receiver shows motion. Off the boot, looking for his man. He tries to take the top off. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. They'll leave it with him. 
They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. He'll keep it himself. Spinderella. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. It's what makes this offense so hard to stop. When you've got an athletic quarterback, you've got to worry about him in the running game. And there on the option, he makes the right decision, keeping it, and he caps off the opening drive of the game with a TD. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. He'll pull it on the read. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Touch pass on the run. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Coming after it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. And the Broncos will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, i got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. i got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. The play-action fake. Looking for a huge play. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Back to pass, it's Wolf. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to pull, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Third down, understanding exactly where the sticks are. You know, you, you've got to stop certain routes so they don't get to certain depths. Quarterback completes and gets another first down. Got to be a little bit more mindful of where those sticks are. The Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, give on the inside. Oh, he's got a chance. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking for a man. It's Wolf. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. And this defense, this crowd, this atmosphere, it can rattle an offense in a hurry. Yeah, you can shake them up. When you can get to the quarterback and affect them, we all know they become very human. They start seeing things. And with this crowd, they can't hear anything. This place is going absolutely nuts. Nice job rushing the passer, igniting the crowd. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. And the Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. And the punt will go into the end zone, and the ball comes out to the 20 on the touchback. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. He's going to pass. Got him downfield. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. 
This is one of the great atmospheres in the sport, but this crowd demands to be entertained, and they are entertained right now. Yeah, and when you've got playmakers that you can throw the ball to down the field like Ohio State does consistently every year, you always expect this. This fan base goes nuts because year after year they have elite playmakers. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Abuka. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. And it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. He's got it, and he will score! Touchdown, Buckeyes! Yeah, how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. And that's number two. They better start playing some better defense. And number three is coming soon. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Buckley. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide. Dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Pulls and fires complete to the right. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Wolf. Pressure coming. They get to him as he throws. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They're getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. The Broncos line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Makes the stop at the 49, but not before he gets in plus territory, gets 15 and a first down. That's a really nice run right there. And one of the things I love about him, he runs with such physicality and with the toughness. Do you think Woody Hayes, the great Ohio State coach, would have loved to have this guy in his backfield? His running style just marries so well with that. When you think about Ohio State and their tradition at running back, right? With all the athletes they've had throughout the decades, this guy was meant to play in the shoe. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Open space at the 25. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. 
Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run, because right now, this offense is having their way. The Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. On the option. Quick toss. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Ohio State. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. Fires to the wideout. He's open on the right. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. When you run those routes, those curl routes just like that, those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line, and the QB did there. Put it on a line. Great job. Great catch. First down. give to the running back and a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two got a little work done on first down now back to the line quarterback on the keeper He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. They're facing a third down. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. the Broncos send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up on a long yard of situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. The inside handoff. 
And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Man, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. Puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, we got to stop the run. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Dumps it to the back. That's caught. It's Judkins. And he's brought down after a nice game. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleeding. And the Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. My goodness, this offense has got it rolled. They might put up a 50-burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. To the air, it's Howard. The receiver looks it in. It's complete. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Henderson. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. The throw to the outside is complete. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. Well, this offense told us coming in, they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage and take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they already in the second quarter, they've got over 200 yards thrown. Was to pass. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. He wants to throw here on second down. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. With the catch, it's Parker. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To the ground with the back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Quick timeout by the defense there trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Broncos will line up to punt it away. surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Used the play fake, now to throw. Got his man downfield. And he's running in the open. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Buck! 
Hawkeyes. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. From inside the 10, here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. The give to the back. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. Time to put an end to the speculation and find out. They're inside the horseshoe. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first. And midfield, he's got room. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Man, what a huge gain, and this offense is so frustrating to defend because you've got that guy who's not a quarterback. He's a running back. Call him what he is, makes the big play, chews up a chunk of yards before you ever know what hits you. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. He'll keep it himself. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the punishment has been extended. A lot of glorious days in the history of the Buckeyes, and this might put this guy right at the top of the list for a single game. And that list of names is incredible. Like, we could go down the list of so many guys that have been such great playmakers, so dynamic. So to think about putting yourself in that category, we're going to be talking about winning trophies and this guy being an All-American by season's end. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Leaves it with the back. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Back to pass. It's Wolf. Fires to the right. It's complete. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. The RPO fire complete to the left. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Power football with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. They'll run it. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. After losing yardage, it's second and twelve. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pulls it in. It's Buckley. Yeah, and that's one of those where you just look at the coverage. You look at down the field, taking away all the options, making sure you don't throw that ball downfield to get the first down. The only option, check it to the running back. Now I close that space. Nice job tackling. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And they'll put three on the board, but the deficit remains huge. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. 
Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Wide out in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Smith. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. The gift to the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Motion from the offense. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Caught in the backfield, it's Smith. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Looking to throw, it's Howard. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. The Buckeyes will have it first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. He's got it on the run. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Fast motion from the offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. It's broken up and almost intercepted on that shot to the end zone. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Splits the uprights. Good. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. 
Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. And now on second down for this offense. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. To the air, it's Wolf. Zings it complete to the right. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Parker. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Looking to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Great timing there in that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes the catch, and his momentum takes him out of bounds. And the Broncos look to keep this drive humming. He'll come out throwing on first down. Trying to get to it. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. Scanning the field, it's Wolf. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. He'll pull it on the read. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, Dave. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. It's first and 10 from the 31. They're getting this guy lathered up. Nice move. Creates some space. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. At running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions, it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. In situations like this, offensively, when you've got the lead in the fourth quarter, when you got to run the ball, you go back to the runs that you have the most confidence in, that you can execute in your sleep, and they do it right there, ripping off seven yards. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now on third down after that run. Catch in the middle, it's a Buka. Oh, look out, there he goes. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the stomping has commenced. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the points come on a pass from 39 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They're working that left side. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Going up top on first down. Feeling some heat. Fires to the big fella. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. That last completion sets him up on second down. Back to throw, it's Wolf. Gets it out quickly. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Screen pass just not working there. And you figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz. But because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. The aerial assault continues. Hauls it in. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep, and that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy pass and catch. Release to the back. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. He's looking to throw. And the pass hits, picked off. Takes it the other way. The 20. And he is taking it all the way back. Touchdown, Ohio State. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Getting set for the point after. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. They'll line up for a second down play. To the air. It's Wolf. He's taking a deep shot. And that pass intercepted. Got some room to run. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. He made that look a lot easier than it is. When you break on a football, you got to see it and go at the perfect angle. The free safety leaves his spot, goes and gets it, and then does the hard part, takes it back to the house for six. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Well, this has pretty much been an evisceration, an old-fashioned stomping, Jesse. Yeah, and, and listen, this is one of those games where you're not necessarily throwing the playbook in the trash after this one, but I do think this coaching staff, David, really has to be honest with themselves and rethink what schemes are working and not working and which guys maybe need to get more touches in this offense. Well, I think I like the trash option as well because it's been hot trash. This has been a bad day. Offense, defense, giving up a ton of points, not scoring near enough. So it's been a bad day you're going to want to forget. Makes a catch and knockdown. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. 
But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They've got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Back to throw. It's Wolf. Unloads to the wideout. Connection to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. They'll throw it on first down. He's got his man. And this defense, his head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. The Broncos have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. Laundry down on the field as the pass is incomplete, but let's see what the penalty is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Finds the big tight end. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seventh. 